uh, welcome back to this next video and in this video we are going to talk about the uh, salivary glands now the first thing you need to understand is uh, what are glands so if you uh, define the glands uh, we usually say that any tissue and that any tissue uh, that releases fluids that means uh, any tissue in your body uh, which secretes uh, some kind of the fluids they are usually known as the glands now in human body these glands these are of two types the first one uh, they are known as the uh, exocrine glands and the uh, second one they are known as the endocrine glands so these are the uh, two major type of the glands that are found in the human body now uh, if you uh, look at the exocrine and the endocrine glands the common term between the two is this crine and this term crine actually means blood that means that these two kind of the glands they have something to do with the blood if you look at these exocrine glands this term exo actually means outside outside something so if this is exocrine it means this is uh, outside the blood now the fluids that are released by the exocrine glands they are not released into the blood they are not released into the blood they are released into uh, specialized ducts these exocrine glands have a duct system and utilize utilizing these ducts they actually uh, reach they actually communicate their secretions to their targets so as they are not releasing their uh, fluids or their secretions into the blood therefore they are known as the exocrine glands now the second type of the glands they are known as the endocrine glands now as the name indicate these are endocrine means into the blood so the secretions of the endocrine glands they are going into the blood therefore they are known as the endocrine glands uh, and the uh, famous examples of the um, endocrine glands that can be the uh, adrenal glands which are present on the surface of the kidneys the uh, testes the ovaries just some of the uh, famous examples of the endocrine glands now when you talk about the salivary glands they fall into the category of the uh, exocrine glands so the salivary glands they are going to uh, release their fluids and those particular fluids are going to reach the oral cavity utilizing a specialized duct system therefore we put them under the category of the uh, exocrine glands now if talk about the uh, types of the exocrine glands we usually classify the uh, salivary glands now the salivary glands that will be the glands which are responsible for producing the saliva in the oral cavity and when this saliva that is released into the oral cavity this is going to perform a lot of functions that we will uh, discuss in this or in the uh, coming video so the salivary glands we put them under the category of the uh, uh, exocrine glands now the uh, exocrine gland the salivary glands they are actually divided into the uh, minor salivary glands you can simply call them is the uh, minor glands and you can classify them into the major glands so these are the uh, two major types of the uh, salivary glands that are found in the oral cavity now if you talk about the uh, minor one first we will discuss the minor glands first and then we will focus on the major glands now in the uh, minor gland the uh, first one they are known as the this one so the first minor gland that will be the buccal gland now this uh, buccal gland it is actually uh, uh, found in the cheeks you are going to find this in the uh, cheeks the second type of the uh, minor gland they are known as the lingual glands and these uh, lingual glands they are going to be uh, found in the tongue they are located in your tongue this is the second type of the uh, minor gland 
Now the uh, third type of the gland, they are known as the palatine glands, another uh, minor gland and these palatine glands, they are going to be uh, present on the roof of the mouth. And the uh, other type or the fourth type of the uh, minor gland, uh, minor salivary gland that is known as the labial gland. And these uh, labial glands, they are going to be uh, located in the lips. So these are the uh, four uh, me, uh, the four <coughs> uh, four types of the minor salivary glands that you find in the uh, oral cavity. If you talk about the numbers, these minor glands are actually between uh, 800 to uh, 1000 glands. They are present in the oral cavity and uh, they are going to release about 5% of the total saliva. So uh, out of the total saliva, the 5% is going to be uh, released by these minor glands. Now one of the uh, most important minor glands, uh, minor salivary gland, uh, that is known as the uh, von Ebner's gland. And uh, this gland is important because it secretes a very important enzyme which is uh, known as the uh, lingual lipase and this particular uh, lingual lipase as the name indicate this is lipase so it is be, it will be responsible for the breakdown of the fats that is present in the food if you talk about the locality of the von Ebner glands where it is found it is actually found in the uh, uh, circumvallate in the uh, circumvallate uh, of the tongue. So these are the uh, minor glands which actually uh, are present in the oral cavity producing a very uh, small amount of the total saliva. Now if you talk about the uh, major salivary glands, uh, there are actually three major salivary glands. Now the first major salivary gland that is known as the parotid glands and uh, if you look at this term para it actually means uh, near and this toit actually mean uh, like oted like o-t-i-d it actually refers to ears that means that these parotid glands they are present near your ears they are present near the ears and they are in the pear forms so you can uh, find the uh, parotid gland uh, uh, near both of your ears. Now these uh, parotid glands, uh, they are actually uh, producing about 25 to 30% of the total saliva. 25 to 30% of the uh, saliva, the total uh, saliva that is released into the uh, oral cavity. Now these uh, parotid glands, they are the largest of the salivary glands. They are the largest glands that are found in the uh, uh, the uh, largest salivary gland that are present in the human body. Uh, now these uh, parotid glands, they are going to release their fluids into the oral cavity utilizing specialized ducts which are known as the uh, parotid ducts. So as I've told you that the uh, salivary glands, they are exocrine in nature. So they are going to release their secretion into the oral cavity utilizing specialized ducts. So the parotid gland, they are going to release their secretion into the parotid ducts and through parotid ducts, they will be released into the uh, oral cavity to perform their specialized functions. The uh, second type of the major uh, salivary gland, they are known as the uh, sublingual glands. Now these uh, sublingual glands, they are actually uh, uh, present under the tongue. And if you look at their uh, saliva secretion, about 60 to 70 percent of the saliva, they are actually released by the sublingual glands. This means that uh, in terms of the quantity of the saliva, the most important of the major salivary glands, they will be the uh, sublingual glands. And the third type of the major salivary gland, they are known as the submandibular glands. 
submandibular glands now these uh, submandibular glands they are actually uh, in u shape they are u shaped glands uh, and they are present under the chin bone under the chin bone and this particular uh, chin bone uh, it is known as the uh, mandibular the mandible not mandibular this uh, chin uh, bone is known as the mandible and the glands which are uh, present under this chin bone they are known as the submandibular glands which are in the uh, u-shape now these uh, submandibular glands they are releasing a very small quantity of the saliva like three to five percent of the total saliva now if you look at these uh, glands the uh, these major glands they are made up of specialized cells which are known as the SNR cells whether you talk about the uh, parotid one the uh, sublingual one or the submandibular one all of these glands they are made up of these specialized cells uh, these specialized secreting cells you can call them as the secreting cells which are known as the SNR cells now these SNR cells these are of two types the first one they are known as the serous cells and the second one they are known as the mucus cells now these serous cells if you look at the uh, secretions of the serous cells they are rich in enzymes or you can call that they are secreting the uh, enzyme rich fluids uh, while this mucus that is releasing a, a particular component of the saliva which is known as the uh, mucins now if you look at the uh, major uh, salivary glands these uh, parotid glands they are actually made up of serous cells now what this mean is that the uh, secretions of the parotid gland that will be very rich in enzymes and we will be talking about the different kind of the enzymes that are present in the saliva with their respective function in the next video if you talk about the sublingual glands these uh, sublingual glands are actually uh, a mixture they have a mixture of the serous and the mucus cells so they have the ability to secrete the uh, enzyme rich fluids as well as the uh, mucins now these submandibular glands they are actually uh, made up of the mucus cells this means that the uh, mucins uh, the mucin component of the saliva that will be uh, mostly released by these uh, submandibular glands so these are the two specialized secreting cells the SNR cells the first type is the serous cells uh, producing an enzyme rich fluid and the second one are the mucus cells which produce these mucins uh, in the next video we will talk about the different components of the saliva uh, with their respective functions uh, if you like the video uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video with your friends it might be helpful